Move-in day for Derek was January the 3rd of 2019. She didn't cry when she first left, but she gets in the car and she calls and she's crying. I'm like, what you crying for? She's like, you're the last one, like, you're gone, da da da. I'm like, hey, see ya. <laughs> I think I contemplated 20 times turning around on Interstate 65, but the joy that was in his voice, uh, he was so happy. And so it just eased my mind knowing the family that, that they have there. And when Auburn says family, through recruiting, they really mean that. And I felt so comfortable leaving him. I came into Auburn, like I said, at 17, and I was the youngest person on the team from December to December, so a full calendar year. Miss Christie gave me the nickname Baby D. She like, you the baby on the team, right? Okay, I'm gonna call you Baby D. And to this day, if I call Miss Christie right now, she would still call me Baby D. It just eased my mind knowing that he was in a place that he was gonna love and that they were gonna build on the young man that I gave them, and that's what they did. Our first team meeting before, you know, you start classes on that Monday. That was frightening for me, being in a new place, a new environment, new people. You got like Derrick Brown, Marlon Davidson, like Smoke, Daniel Thomas, Jamie and Sherwood. I mean, you got like all these dudes that like, you watched them play on TV not even a year ago, and now you're sitting in the same room with them. I'm talking about they big, humongous, like, you like, dang, how am I going to hold up to this? Coming in from high school to... To, to the SEC or, you know, any college, you know, it's a transition. You know, he's going from playing against 190-pound offensive linemen, 200-pound offensive linemen, to having to play 320-pound offensive linemen that move like they're 200. How Coach Dilla did it for me in middle school and high school, Coach Garner did it for me when I got to Auburn. Let's go, man. Let's go. Jump, jump. He, like, changed my whole outlook on football. He made me into who I am. You know, he's tough skinned, he can handle the coaching. Like I try to tell him all the time, you know, there's two types of criticism. There's constructive and destructive. And, you know, and obviously, even though it may come across as hard at that particular moment, nothing is ever meant to be destructive. He wanted to be coached. He had a coach me coach mentality. And that's what you want from your players. Once we put pads on, we put him on the board drill with Derrick Brown. Obviously, at that stage, Derrick Brown won the majority of those battles. But Derrick Hall kept fighting. And we as a staff, we all kind of looked at each other after practice and said, fellas, we got something in him because he kept getting back up. He's the type of young man, if he fall down seven, he's going to get up eight. He did a great job of adapting to that and just being someone that was intentional, that knew what he wanted, you know, had goals and aspirations. And wasn't just gonna sit there on his lords, you know, he was a guy that was gonna put in the work. Derek Hall for Auburn out there at the starting spot for the injured Marlon Davidson on that defensive front for Auburn. He said that Marlon and Coach G came to him on the sideline like two minutes before the game started, like, hey, get ready, you're starting. Marlon was having back problems, so he couldn't go. That was my first start against the Mississippi team. I was I was ready to go. All that pain, it made me to a monster. Lovely rolls to his right, looks and he wants to throw, then he throws it away. They say what doesn't kill you, make you stronger. Oh, and he's taken down by Derek Hall. We've called his name a couple times All tonight, Stan. Pain, it made me to a monster. You know, when I got out of the game, I was high on the hall. You know, I felt like I was the best guy, you know, walking at that moment just because, you know, I had the opportunity to go out and Help my team. It wasn't too big for him. The moment wasn't too big. All that pain, it made me to a monster. That was really the defining part of my freshman season. Then starting the Iron Bowl 2 in 2019. Oh, man. Here come the hometown Tigers, 8 and 3. Their only losses to number 2, number 4, and number 10. And from Tuscaloosa, Crimson Tide of Alabama, 10 and 1. I was scared, but I was also excited for the opportunity because it's like the biggest game in college football. Bullivis for the tie. Kick is out of the way, and it hit the right, the upright. It's no good. Going out and winning, you know, watching those guys fight and battle. They've got another big one over their arch rival from Tuscaloosa. Auburn wins it 48 to 45. The fans rushing, people falling in the bushes. I've never been a part of nothing like that. I mean, that's just the passion and love that I feel like the state of Alabama has, you know, for the game of football. That was really the 
best, best part of my freshman year. We're following a developing story in college athletics. June 8th, that's the date the SEC says athletes can begin using facilities on campus for voluntary workouts. Derek came home on spring break, not knowing that he would be home for three or four months. And it was super scary when Auburn did call and say that the boys have to return back to school because we were still in the height of the pandemic and Derek has asthma. And so I was super duper scared for him to go back. But at the same token, you know, he has a commitment. And one thing you'll learn about Derek when he makes a commitment to be there, he's going to be there for his team and, and for himself. And surely enough, he went back to Auburn that Thursday and that Saturday I got a call that said Derek had tested positive for COVID. But thank God that the staff there at Auburn made sure that he was well cared for and he was asymptomatic the entire time. It was really a lot of uncertainty. We go back, we're going to play. Oh, well, we may not play. Yeah, we're going to play, but no, they just canceled the season. You know, nevertheless, I mean, we did play football and every single game was an SEC opponent, but, you know, I felt like, you know, time was of the essence at that point in a lot of us and a lot of our career because we didn't know if we were going to get that year back. And, you know, I felt like that was something that we went through that nobody has ever faced. So it was definitely a, a crazy, crazy wild ride. We finished the season up with Mississippi State that year. It's Big Cap Bryant who's going to cap his day with a sack. Oh, That's how you celebrate. Gus, get up. You know, we had a glorious time. I mean, we won the game because Mazin was dancing. We were all having a good time. And that next day, we were like, why is there no team meeting? Like, why is there no one here? We got a text from Alan Green to meet him on the field. That's when he told us that Coach Mazin was fired. My heart sank. I, mean, I was heated. I was mad. Lord forgive me, but I didn't want to talk to Allen. Like, I didn't want to look him in his face. Like, that hurt me a lot. You know, everybody that really recruited me that I had built that relationship with, gone out the door. So I'm basically starting all over again. Like, I'm just getting to Auburn. It's going to be different people uh, always come in out your life. So you're going to have to make up your mind. I'm going to sit back here and I'm going to dwell. I'm going to cry on this. No, you got to move on. Not that you didn't like that person, you know. It's just time to keep flowing. I think for Derek, because he is so used to adversity, I think he kind of put himself aside to be there for some of the other guys who were unsure of their future. But I do know it was a scary time for him because this is his family. I don't think one time it really ever really crossed my mind, you know, that I want to enter the transfer portal. I know there are a lot of guys that you know, decided to do that and, uh, you know, pulling them out was a hard thing for guys like me and Owen, you know, guys that were growing leaders that had to respect their teammates to do so. I knew that he would be fine because he came to Auburn for the right reasons, you know, that that was a place that he could see himself being at, even if football was taken away from him. I love Auburn and I love everything about it. So, you know, I was like, who am I to leave this place? You know what I mean? Like this place has done a lot for me in my two years, you know, I owe them everything that I have. and. You know, I, I've ever been dead to institutions, so when it got to that point, I was like, hey, no, like, there's no way I'm leaving. I don't care who comes in. You know, at this level, there are really good coaches out there. And uh, being able to be exposed to different systems, to different ways of doing things, I mean, I just think that that helps in the growth process. So we were out golfing at RTJ in Opelika, and we it came across our, uh, our phone on ESPN Break the news, Auburn hires Brian Harson. We like, who the heck is Brian Harson? Then we get a text about 30 minutes later, hey, we got a team meeting. Coming in with Coach Harson and his staff, I loved Harson. Like from day one, I had an opportunity to meet him. You know, I felt like he was a great guy, big disciplinarian, you love football, he was wired differently. Derek is a great judge of character, so because he felt really strongly about Coach Harson, I trust my son and I trust the fact that he can judge people pretty well. So if Derek felt like he was a great man and he wanted to support him as Derek's mom, my family did the same. Come out of your hips now, shoot your shoulder. Zach! Go! You know, just been put to the test like never before. That summer opened my eyes a lot, and I mean, like, I worked like a dog. And I kind of feel like they translated over into the season. Yeah.
bounce back, better count that, count that, count all of the time that I went and put in the grind. I'm so hard about the sign. From the left hash, Nelson looks, he's pressured, and goes down. Derek Hall for the sack. Don't know techno, this that drill. Rolling Jefferson, drilled by Derek Hall. His junior year against Arkansas, Arkansas was backed up on about the two or three yard line, and uh, we got him into 5 0 protection, so it was a one on one pass rush. And he beat the tackle around the edge, came in, strip sack. Marcus Harris fell on the ball for a touchdown, which really was a momentum changing play in that game. And we went out to win Arkansas the Arkansas game on the road. Derek found me in the stand and he blew me a kiss. And y'all, my heart melted in the stand that time. And I was like, did y'all see that? My baby blew me a kiss. Did you see that? And guess what? AL.com got it on video. The other one is the Iron Bowl in 2021. I mean, the guy had three sacks. He really was a factor before that, and people knew about him, but I think he really took the next step as far as being a prospect in that game. Young drops to throw. Flushed, and down he goes! Back to the 11! Back to the 11! Derek Hall! Their junior year didn't end the way Derek wanted it to. I was gone. I was flat out done. I'm like, because I told myself before the year, I'm like, if I get eight sacks or more, I'm leaving. I'm done. I'm gone. I said to him, like, I promised that I would do my part as your mom. And you promised me that before you left Auburn, you would get a degree. And so, therefore, I've held up to my part. But now you're trying to bail on yours. My mom and uncle were first-generation college graduates in my family. So, you know, she was huge on education. And um, I knew if I, if I left school, there was no way I was going to come back like I was so tired of college. I was hoping that he would stay for his senior year because there's nothing like your senior year. He really soaked up the college experience by going to the basketball games and going to the baseball games and going to the gymnastics. Like you will not get that opportunity again to be a college student. I think that kind of resonated with him, knowing that he got the opportunity to go back and play another year with his brothers and secure his degree. I'm about to graduate in May, finishing up school. So, I mean, everything's worked out as planned. So, can't be more happy than what I am right now with the, with the circumstances that I'm in. The three guys sitting up here, they were voted captains by their teammates. Uh, so, super proud of these guys since I've been here. Derek Hall, he's been a leader on this team and has made a difference and where this, this program's at right now and where this team is at. Derek Hall, from the day he stepped on our campus, you know, he exemplified, you know, leadership qualities. You know, he, you could tell that this young man was going to be the captain. When I got the phone call from Coach Arson, I'm like chilling, relaxing. He calls and he's like, hey, I just want to inform you that you were selected as a team captain. Uh, I said, are you for real? He was like, yeah. I was like, coach, you playing? He's like, no, I'm not playing with you. He was like, congratulations. He called me and my mom on FaceTime, and he was just smiling. So I was like, what are you smiling for? He was like, guess what? He was like, I got captain of the football team. That was a moment for him. He was, he was very excited. If he wasn't excited about any other accomplishment, it was that because you have boys with the same position as you that want the same title. When you have the respect of your teammates, when 100 guys on the team want you to be their leader, it doesn't matter what you do on the field in your career, you're gonna leave there knowing that you, you left the mark. You know, you, you left your imprint on that program forever. I'll never forget the first game of the year. That's the first thing I looked at. I pulled my shoulder pad down and I looked at that C and I just, I mean, I was at a loss of words. It's, it's, it's hard to put into words, you know, like when you see something like that and when I put it on, the first thing I did again, I looked down at it. I was like, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> pretty unique moment, but when much is given, much is required. And, uh, you know, being a captain is definitely a tough thing because, you know, guys are watching you and, you know, guys are looking at you for answers. And you know that, you know, no matter what, you have to be there and be a great team leader and great teammate. You have to leave, you know, what's ever going on at the door. And once you come in that building, you have to be there, you know, for the guys, you know, to help everyone, you know, reach their goal and do anything you can to help the team win. Team on me, team on three, one, two, three, team! team.
Lord, we just thank you for the power and strength that we have as a brotherhood here. Lord God, Lord, we know that that won't fail, Lord. But we know as we go and move forward, Lord God, Lord, that we'll always be able to come back home to Auburn. Lord, Lord, we just thank you for every man in the circle, Lord. We ask for grace, mercy, and protection today. As we go out and play this game of football, Lord, we give it all the glory and all the honor. In Jesus' name I pray. I push that weight to get that dough, but I don't break because I've been broke. If ain't no pain, then ain't no growth. To keep it a hundred, I came in the running and bet if I had to, I'd do it again. It ain't no race if I don't win. Short drop throws, ball is up in the air and it's caught! It's intercepted by Derrick Hall! He's to the 35-30 and taken down at the 23! See, I done worked and I done bled Cause I done hustled way too hard And I get further every step The sky's the limit, shoot for stars, huh? It's a first down across the 45 Out to the 48, ball down Auburn falls on it! The Tigers have it! Jefferson taken down by Derrick Hall Who got there? That sack for Derrick Hall, 17 in his Auburn career. I really enjoyed my time with Coach Harson. When I found out he got let go, uh, you know, came in to talk to us again. You know, hey, you know, we're moving in a different direction. Uh, you know, Coach Harson came in and spoke, and he left and said his farewell as well. And, and then we found out who the head coach was in Coach Cadillac, and the room erupted. I felt like he gave Auburn back what they needed. He gave the players back what they needed. And I feel like at that moment they responded and showed that Auburn football is still alive and strong. And I felt like the boys just really, really rallied around him. Caddy's first game at home, that was huge. Packed out stadium, Texas a &M, all the fans. Let's go play ball! I remember Coach Cadillac leading the team during Tiger Walk and the smile on his face and the smile that I saw on my son's face when he gave me a hug in Tiger Walk and looking at all the other guys. They all just seemed so happy. That's one big defining moment for this past year. And, you know, going out and letting Coach Caddy get his first win at home with all his brothers there. I mean, like every guy that he played with, you know, standing behind him. And for me, having an opportunity to present him with the game ball, I think was special. You serving and believing in us every single day. You come to work every single day to help this team get better and get Auburn back to where we used to be. So I know you said it's not all about you, but tonight, man, we want to present you the game ball for your Auburn. You know, said a lot about who we were as a team with the adversity that we face, but also, you know, the, the, the growth and gratitude, you know, that we have for one another and, you know, for Coach Caddy and his staff. 24 seniors. They done had every reason to fold, every excuse. Man, they want more. I share a special, special bond with a lot of coaches, a lot of players, a lot of Auburn family. Being able to be a part of a family like that, that's truly loving. You know, a lot of institutions say that they're really family, but Auburn is that. So, you know what I mean? That's, that's really, I'm, I'm at a loss of words when you, when you ask me things like that, because I really don't know how to put in the terms, but my heart is, you know, overly joy with Auburn love. Auburn is a special, special place. It was an amazing experience, and I will never, ever forget the love that was shown to my family during Derek's four years at Auburn. At All In Credit Union, you can score big with our fixed rate credit card. A 700 pound elk could sneak up on you in the mountains and you don't even know it. Efficient, man. Be powerful, but graceful. Powerful, but graceful. Good angles. I'm watching his first step. Y'all watch his arms. Can he rip out of it? Where his arms go, DJ? Woo! Nice work! That's a good rep.